Hi everyone, it's Nicole here today for Lawn Fawn with a Reveal Wheel Fall Leaf Add-on Happy Fall card. This car is, card is jam-packed full of new fall and winter 2018 release products from Lawn Fawn, including the Happy Fall Line Border, the Square Reveal Wheel Add-on, the Fall Wheel, or fall leaf reveal wheel add on. That's a mouthful. New glitter card stocks, um, the pick of the patch stamp set, just lots and lots of goodies. We're going to start with the square reveal wheel. This is awesome. It's a square shape rather than rectangle, so it's going to create a smaller shape. Um, perfect if you want to do maybe a square card. I'm going to implement this square onto a standard A2 size card but you could definitely create a square card with this. There are two inserts that come with this, an oval and a heart. I'm not gonna use those today. We're gonna use the Reveal Wheel Fall Leaf add-on instead. And then we are going, you need the Reveal Wheel die collection to work with this because you want the Reveal Wheel that's in the original die collection. I've die cut the Reveal Wheel from white cardstock as well as the little white circle that works as the mechanism to make this move. But then I have taken four different colors of the sparkle cardstock, die cut them using the circle stackables, one of the circle stackables dies, and I die cut four circles from four different glitter card stocks, and then just using a paper trimmer and eyeballing it, you could definitely measure if you wanted to, I cut it in half and then cut it into fourths. And I am trimming a little bit off the tip of each of these so that that center little die cut area that the brad goes through can still work. It's gonna be completely hidden. You won't know that you have trimmed this down at all. What's going to happen here is that when you move the reveal wheel, instead of seeing a different stamped phrase or a different face or whatever it might be, you're going to see a different color of sparkly leaf. I thought, especially for the fall leaf add-on, this was a really cute way to showcase that fall leaf because when you have your reveal wheel assembled and put together and you spin this around, you're gonna see an awesome glittery leaf, perfect for fall, showcased through that little opening. So just another fun way to use the reveal wheel. On the front of my reveal wheel frame, this was die cut from Bristol Smooth Cardstock. I'm gonna use the new Mustard Seed Distress Oxide ink and ink up the upper part of this panel. It was a little too bright yellow for me. I wanted to tone that down just a little for the more fall feeling card. So I'm going to take a little Gathered Twigs Distress Oxide ink and ink just around the edges to darken that up a little bit, warm it up, but still have that really pretty yellow fallish color. Then I'm gonna spritz this with water from a distress sprayer and blot it dry so that it has a great distressing to it as well. This really just kind of speaks fall to me. I love this. It's making me really eager for fall weather. So let's clean up our work surface. It's really important when working with ink so you don't transfer it to a whole bunch of things, whether it be your hands, your project, and get ink all over. So I'm a big advocate for kind of cleaning as you go. Now I did die cut another little strip from some Bristol Smooth cardstock. Um, use that reveal wheel square die so it'd be the same shape. This is only about maybe three quarters of an inch tall inked with peeled paint distress oxide ink. This is gonna go along the bottom edge. We're gonna spritz this with a little water too. Um, why not? Let's distress it so it's consistent. You could just ink the bottom of the panel, which kind of originally is what I thought I would do. But I think the, the line border sentiments, for me, they're really a lot easier to line up when I have a straight edge to line them up with. And I am lining this up with that kind, it's kind of serves as the landscape for my scene. So all of the little critters are gonna be along this green border, almost like it's green grass. 
with this happy fall sticking up from that. And it just serves as a great point to have my sentiment. Around the sentiment before I adhere this down, I'm gonna take greetings from the new Pick of the Patch stamp set that read, You're the Pick of the Patch. Kind of position them around the tails on the two P's and the letter Y so that it kind of frames up either side of that. And then when I was deciding what color to stamp my greetings, um, my go-to is a lot of times stamping with a clear embossing ink and then embossing with white embossing powder. For this, I felt like that just kind of wasn't what I wanted. So I took the brand new artichoke ink from Lawn Fawn and stamped that green over the peeled paint and it is a fantastic match, you guys. This is a little dark, it is a dye ink, so as it absorbs into the paper, it will fade and lighten just a little bit, but it's perfect and it's exactly what I was going for. This die cut, I actually die cut from a couple of different mediums um, or different colors of sparkle cardstock. I ended up going with a darker one um, because I felt like it showed up better and you'll see that here in a little bit. I've stamped my images from the Pick of the Patch stamp set. I have used this stamp set for a Halloween themed card. I thought it would be great to use it for a fall themed card, something that does not scream Halloween. So if you do not celebrate Halloween or whatever it might be, I wanted to show how this stamp set works for other fall occasions. I love that. I love that there are not jack-o'-lantern faces on these pumpkins because a great pumpkin image is always great to have for all kinds of fall themed, Thanksgiving themed, whatever it might be card. I only stamped two pumpkins here and the two squirrels. I did end up stamping the third one. I really felt like I needed it to even everything out. I have listed the colors I'm using, the Copic marker colors, across the top of the screen. So at if it, any time you're wondering what I'm using, that's where you can find that. The last pumpkin that I'm not sharing the coloring process on in this video, I colored exactly like I colored the second pumpkin. So I felt like I really didn't have to add that into the video here today and that will help save a little bit of view time for you guys. Once I have these colored, I decided I needed some leaves. I knew from my Halloween card that the addition of a little greenery here and there is really great. Plus I thought the leaves in a couple of other fall colors would be great as well. So we're stamping the solid leaf in artichoke, sunflower, and pumpkin spice, I believe is the color. I hope I got that right. And then the outline in jet black. And then the little curly cues all in the artichoke green. I think that artichoke green might be my new favorite green from Lawn Fawn. Um, perfect for fall. It just has enough of that warm undertone to it that really resonates. I love it. It's not super bright. It's not super dark. Really, really great green. Lining up the coordinating pick of the patch dies. Gonna run all this through my die cutting machine. With all of those leaves, I'm gonna have to run it through a few times, so I will do most of that off camera to save you guys, again, a little bit of boredom. And then let's start putting it all together. Let's put the border along the front of the reveal wheel. Now we don't wanna put down the happy fall yet. We want to put that down after we have attached the little pumpkins and critters along the bottom edge. And what I'm gonna do is assemble them so that it appears the squirrels are peeking out around the pumpkins. I thought that would be the most effective way to utilize and showcase them. Kind of gives it a whimsical, fun look and feel. And we're going to get all of these pos positioned around here. And what I'm doing is laying everything out first and then, um, by laying everything out, this really gives me a good idea of what I need in addition. So this is where I realized I needed that last pumpkin, got that colored, die cut, and now I'm simply adhering my images along this little landscape along the bottom edge. Combination of different adhesives, depending on what I'm doing. If it's teeny tiny liquid adhesive, otherwise I try to use a tape runner or glue dots little less mess this way, but with anything small, the little curly cues, the leaves, a lot of that's a lot easier with liquid adhesive. I think the leaves I did use some glue dots. 
Um, these bling glue dots are teeny tiny, so they still work pretty well. Love those squirrels peeking out. I think it adds a fun, whimsical touch to this. Um, deciding a frame for my glittery open, I decided for white cardstock. I gotta tell you guys, I die cut that from a whole bunch of different colors. <laughs> I could not decide what color I wanted to use to frame that up. Opted for white, nice, basic, and I think it probably was the right call. Now, to make the reveal wheel work, I like to pop it up with a little foam adhesive or a lot of foam adhesive, whatever. Um, I'm using foam adhesive squares from Scrapbook Adhesives, both the large and small, just depending. I like to have a nice base so that my reveal wheel doesn't have any funny dips anywhere, but also works really well. And just peeling off all this backing paper will pop our reveal wheel front here Look at that, so cute. Look at all those glittery leaves, I love it. And then we're gonna put some liquid adhesive on the back of the Happy Fall line border. These line borders are some of my favorite dies from Lawn Fawn. I think they're just a really classic, great way to add a sentiment and there are lots of great ways to use them. So I've just framed up kind of that scene there and also finished out my greeting. However, I needed something interesting for the background. I used an outside in stitched rectangle to die cut some of the new neutral wood grain cardstock for my card. This die cuts my rectangles slightly smaller than an A2 size, so I'm still gonna have a nice white border around the edge with my card base, which I think works good for the white outline of my die cut images, the white outline around the leaf, but it leaves some area at the top of my card that I think needs something. And this something was I decided to die cut the Hello from the Lawn Fawn Magic Color Slider die collection from glitter cardstock attached to fun foam with stick it adhesive. It's one of my favorite techniques. I've used it in many videos. I left it out of this video just to save time today, but it adds that little fun glittery touch to the top of the card. It fills in the area really nicely. The other thing we're gonna do to fill in the area and make this seem really natural is to add a scattering of leaves. I stamped all those leaves. I hadn't used them all yet. This is the perfect opportunity to scatter them, scatter them so that they appear to kind of be flying through the air like they would in autumn. I'm adding white highlights now to my stamped images with a white pen and then I will finish adding those last few finishing touches to this card design that's gonna tie it all together and finish it off. One thing we definitely need is some sort of indication that this is an interactive card. Because I used texture paper, I did not wanna stamp one of the sentiments from the Reveal Wheel sentiment stamp set. I'm using the arrow from the Reveal Wheel die cut from glitter cardstock. Again, it coordinates well with the rest of the design. That is going to show the recipient that this card has some movement to it and show them that they need to turn that wheel. We're scattering the rest of our leaves, adding some little white highlights to these so that they match everything else going on. It ties that whole thing together. Let's use the, or do the reveal wheel one more time so you can see how cute that is, how fun it, that works with the glitter card stock. And then let's take a little white heart accent that finishes off the little hello up at the top of the card. And that is it for this reveal wheel fall leaf add-on happy fall card featuring lawn fawn stamps and dies. The supplies I used to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring lawn fawn fall and winter 2018 stamps and dies that you might be interested in. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.